Hello my dear children welcome to today's class so what are we learning today today we are doing your very favorite topic that is games sports and what about that we are going to read in this chapter let's play and recreate all right so love to play games who loves to play games I still love to play games and I do that with my children and I go outdoors also play football play volleyball and badminton with my children and in summers I love to swim also and sometimes I run also I go for a jog that keeps me fit so this is all about this chapter let's play and recreate we all love to play games and sports they refresh our minds and we feel relaxed some games are played outside the house like football hockey cricket kho kho and they are the examples of outdoor games so the games which are played in the field in the playground outside our houses those are called outdoor games and it usually requires a huge space to play these games and it requires a lot of running around some games are played inside a building inside a room so you can just sit in a corner uh, it requires less space very few movement and such games are called indoor games and these are like carrom ludo snakes and ladders and they are the few examples of indoor games also chess uno uh, and many other board games now the games played at home when we are at home we play indoor games correct like chess carrom ludo we play these games with the members of our family or with our friends from our neighborhood some of us also like to play video games on smartphones tablets and computers and there is a very popular game video game ps5 there are many games like puzzle riddle and video games which help us in developing an hand eye coordination memory thinking and problem solving skills so what happens in such games when we are solving uh, puzzles when we are solving riddles uh, when we are just you know there are different different kinds of puzzles and the crossword puzzles in newspapers uh, sudoku comes every day it actually sharpens your mind it helps you to think logically so it increases your logical thinking and it helps in uh, memory increasing you try to remember things you try to use your things it sharpens your mind a lot and uh, it helps in problem solving skills also also when you're playing video game it increases your hand and eye coordination because your eyes uh, your hands your fingers are actually moving according to your eyes so it increases your hand eye coordination now games help us to stay fit mentally and physically when you are uh, playing in a ground it help it uh, builds you physically and when you are playing at home indoor games video games it is increasing your mental health now games that we play at school that is the games played at school when we are at school we play outdoor games like volleyball badminton table tennis kho kho etc many schools have large open grounds and separate basketball volleyball tennis badminton courts so when you children are also at school you must be going to the playgrounds to play games my school had a different court for everything so a volleyball had a different court basketball lawn tennis swimming pool cricket ground and skating rink also so anyone want Uh, whosoever wanted to play any game could choose their uh, game of interest and they used to play that game so all these games are the outdoor games and apart from just the school these games can be played in any sports complex and you can take a formal coaching in any of the sports written over here some schools have coaches to help students learn the rules of the game so some schools offer the coaching of uh, to learn the uh, 
the to learn these sports formally and to learn the rules of these games and even organize inter class or inter school competitions of these sports so see children playing basketball in school and badminton and the badminton court so when together we play what happens there are different types of games some are played individually while some are played in teams so there are games which are being played individually like most of the indoor games the board games the chess ludo snakes ladders uh, uno these are the individual games that we play for ourselves only and in fact some of the outdoor games like badminton lawn tennis they are also played individually for ourselves only and such games in which only two players compete with each other they are called individual games but then most of the outdoor games they are being played as a team so there is a team of certain number of members like a cricket team has 11 members and they all play together as a team for their team they are not pay playing individually for themselves they are playing in a team for whole team so if they uh, perform well the whole team gets benefited with that and such uh, sports are called team games even the lawn tennis and the badminton can be played in a team of two members in each team right so it is great fun to play with teams playing together helps to build confidence understanding harmony and respect for one another so when we play in a team we learn how to play in harmony how to cooperate with each other how to respect each other how to put other person before us in a team how to think about everyone uh before ourselves and that is what a team sport teaches us in team sports we can share responsibilities give and take advice and even help ourselves before or during the competition so we can actually give and take advice from our team members we learn how to help each other and take responsibilities when we are in a team we make sure that we should play with everyone in school there is no game which is specially meant for boys or girls so please don't say that oh cricket is for boys girls can't play it and volleyball is for girls boys can't play it. there is no demarcation as such that which sport belongs to which gender every sport can be played by boys or by girls anyone so whosoever is interested in any game they can go and play that game we should play all the games together now comes recreation that's a new word for you what do you mean by recreation so sometimes what happens we play games just for being relaxed just to refresh our mind we do certain activities just to refresh ourselves and that is called recreation so sometimes we go for a nature walk in a beautiful garden and that is uh, one of the recreational activities sometimes we go for swimming not for the purpose of exercising or being fit we just go in water to have a good time to relax and that is again another recreational activity and when we are not in a a uh, very good mood and we want to relax people actually go for dancing and painting and all these activities give a lot of uh, energy refreshment and uh, rejuvenation to them and they feel energized after that they feel refreshed after that and such activities are called recreational activities recreation are recreational activities that children do to relax themselves and that is called recreation recreation is very important to be healthy and happy 
Some of common recreational activities are reading, listening to music, singing, dancing, painting, skipping room and playing different games. So sometimes when we are working and studying for long hours and we want to refresh ourselves, what do we do? Sometimes we go for cycling just to have good air around. We cycle slowly and that's a recreational activity for some of the children or some of them start painting, drawing, solving puzzles or playing any game. So that is actually recreation for them. Now, what is fun in fair? A fair in India is called Mela, right? And uh, there are a lot of fairs that are being organized in India. And in fact, every year at the time of autumn break when the Shara and the Wali uh, is there, a lot of fairs are being organized in every part of India, mostly in North and Central India. So, fair are held in open, open grounds with lots of rides and game toys, food and other fun activities. So, there are so many stalls there. You can play games over there. You can have a lot of good food over there. And then there are so many jolly rides uh, there. Game stalls have interesting games and there are rides too such as a giant wheel or merry-go-round. Fair like the India International Trade Fair. So there is one fair which is India International Trade Fair, Suraj Kund, Crafts Mela, Book Fair, Auto Fair. It runs for many weeks every year. Okay, so these are some of the very popular uh, fair in India in which people from all the part of India they come and they put their stalls over there. Book fair often showcase more than just books. Audio books, electronic books and other forms of digital media are offer, often featured there. Alright, so what is kite flying? Kite flying is a popular means of recreation in India. So in India Children fly kites for fun. They do not have a very formal training or a competition in kite flying. It's a recreational activity. So kites are made with colorful paper and thin sticks. The strings attached to the kites are tied to a wooden spindle which is uh, held in a hand. So in Hindi we call it chakri also. So that's a spindle, that's a wooden spindle and a thread is being uh, tied there and uh, then uh, with a kite and then uh, with the flow of wind the kites are being flown. People fly kites especially on festivals like Independence Day and Makar Sakranti. Now let's write that have you ever went to a fair? If yes please write a yes, if no please write a no and if you ever get a chance, get a chance to go to a fair please do that. How do you spend your leisure time? So do you spend your leisure time playing some video game or you go outside or you go in a park, you play games? Please write whatever you do in your leisure time over here. Now there is one more very popular way of having fun is going to the circus with your family. And circus is an old and popular means of recreation. A circus show usually travels uh, a circus show usually travels from place to place. So what happened? The uh, art circus artists, they pack all their things and their animals and their costumes from one, from one place to another. And they put the whole setup of circus in a big ground. And that is how a circus is being organized. Uh, it is organized in large tent or an, in an open ground. A circus held in an oval or circular area enclosed by a large tent. Whenever a circus, circus comes to a town, they put up advertisements everywhere. Circus includes variety of performances on unicycles. What is a unicycle? A cycle with only one tire. So, there is only one tire and the rider sits over here and they show, they maintain balance on this wheel 
and they show a lot of tricks on this uh, unicycle. Then there is trapeze act, juggling acts and acrobats. Acrobats actually, uh, that's the gymnastics being done in air. And that is like a beautiful act. If you ever get a chance to go to a circus, please do not miss this acrobats. Dance and music performances also happen in some circuses. A visit to a circus is very enjoyable for the whole family. Yes, and as you can see, there are uh, animals who are also being trained to perform in a circus. And uh, even the lions are there in a circus and uh, elephants are there. And there is a ringmaster who actually trains all the animals and they do all the tricks together. And it is fun to watch all of them. The first modern circus was opened in 1768 by Philip Astley. But some say that circuses as way of public entertainment originate from ancient Rome and their circuses. Yes, so this is a fact. Now another recreational, other recreation is puppet show, which is very, very popular in different parts of the world. In fact, in some of the schools there, the puppet show is very important. important. That's very popular for the kids. Uh, the teachers actually do a puppet show and what are puppets? They are actually, um, a puppet show is an old age means of recreation, especially popular among the village folk. So what happens in a village folk, in the villages, puppet show is still very, very popular. Uh, people from the village, they uh, have these small dolls called puppets and the strings are attached to those uh, uh, puppets and the uh, person controls all the strings from above and they move the puppets and then they talk on behalf of the puppets. It seems as if the puppet is talking but actually all the talking is being done by the uh, person who is handling the puppets and uh, this is usually very, uh, they uh, bring a very funny story in puppet show usually. A puppet is a small figure of a doll, animal or human being made of a cloth. It is moved with the help of strings attached to the body parts of the puppet and the puppet shows often tell stories that are humorous, that are that is funny stories and also it has a moral. So these are the moral humorous stories. Now we all go together to a mall for and it is also a recreation and we go to mall with our family and friends and a mall is a very big shopping center. It's a very huge place with different shops under one roof. There is a lot of shops under one roof. And we can have a lot of fun at the mall. So there, are, there is a food court. We can have food. Usually most of the malls have cinema hall also. Then uh, there are different shops where we can actually do a window shopping. and Or if you want to buy different stuff, we can do that. And there are separate sections for different kinds of products. There are food joints as well as playing junctions in the mall. So there are there is play area also and there are different different things, different activities to be done in a mall. There we can enjoy shopping, playing games, eat delicious food or simply sit and watch people. That is why the whole family loves going to the malls. Now there are some do's and don'ts of the games. When we play games, we should keep certain things in our minds. We should play fairly. Do not push anyone while playing. So playing fairly means we should not cheat while playing. And then we should not push anyone while playing. It can hurt other people. Do not play on roads or terraces. Always play only in parks and the grounds. Now these are the some these are some new words that we did today. Indoor means inside a house, outdoor means outside a house. Recreation means doing something to relax and leisure is the time when you do not have to work. Acrobats are the people who perform difficult acts such as balancing on high ropes on circuses.
Also remember that we all love to play games and sports. Some games are played inside the house and they are called indoor games. For example, Ludo, Chess and Carom. Some games are played uh, outside the house and they are called outdoor games. Example, Volleyball, Cricket, Badminton. We should always play together. Recreation or recreation activities with children do for relax and it refreshes us so that we can work better. People visit fairs, circus, malls, etc. as the means of entertainment. We should keep do's and don'ts of the games in mind while playing games. Let's complete these exercises and see what have we learnt today. You have to choose the correct option. Which of these do we play at home? Ludo. Which of these games need only two players to play? Chess. Which of these games is recreational activity? Reading. A visit to the dash is very enjoyable for whole family. A circus, a fair, a mall. It can be any. On which of these festivals do we fly kites? Makar Sakranti. Let's fill in the blanks and see what have we learnt. Dash is the game which we like to play outdoor. Any. You can write any game which you play like to play outdoor. I am writing volleyball over here. Dash is the game which help us in developing our hand-eye coordination and problem solving skill. You can write any video, video game you can write or you can write puzzle solving. Kite flying is, so kite flying is popular means of recreation. Doing something to relax is called recreation. Affair is called Mela in India. You have to tick the correct options and cross out the wrong ones. We get a variety of food stalls in fairs. That's correct. Movies and listening songs are boring for children. False. Puppet show is a new means of recreation. It is not a new means. It's an old age means. We should always play in parks. That's correct. We should play indoor games outside the house. No, indoor games are played inside the house. You have to answer the following questions yourself and we can discuss over here in short. What are indoor and outdoor games? The games which are played inside the house like Ludo, Chess, Carom are indoor games. The games which are played outside the house in the garden, in the grounds and the uh, the playgrounds and the uh, parks, those are called the outdoor games such as volleyball, basketball, cricket, etc. What are the games we play at school? Kho Kho, volleyball, basketball, swimming, cricket, football. What are the games we play at home? Chess, Ludo, Uno, Carom. What are recreational activities? Activities that are being done for our leisure, for our recreation, for our well-being. Those are called the recreational activities uh, such as reading, walking in a park or playing games just for fun. All those are recreational activities. What types of acts do we see in a circus show? In a circus show, we see acrobats. We sometimes see juggling acts, the animal uh, tricks. Then uh, we see gymnastics. Then uh, uh, what else do you see in... Uh, we have a lot of uh, other tricks in circus as well. There are... These are some fun based questions that you have to do yourself with your family, with your friends and have fun with the lesson. You have to write down in your scrapbook the last time you went to the circus with your family and share the experience. If you haven't done that, you can skip this. Now you can make a puppet with a socks with you can just put some 
sponge and uh, or cotton in the socks and add some eyes googly eyes to the puppet and make your beautiful puppets like this so you can use button sequin ribbon pom pom uh, wool for the hair then uh, you can visit a nearest fair with your family and write about what shows did you watch there or different variety of food you eat and the rides you swing on now uh, you can get into groups of four each group will make a kite with colorful papers broomsticks and stings and display your kites in your house and that looks beautiful and that becomes a beautiful handmade decorative piece that's all for today in this lesson i hope you have learned a lot about indoor and outdoor games and also about different recreational activities and if you ever get a chance to visit a fair or a circus or a mall you would grab that chance so keep learning keep shining bye bye